Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in the previous tutorials, you know, we have learned about the loops available in Java. So we have learned about the for loop, we have learned about the while loop and also we have learned about the do while loop. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys something about a break statement, you know, which is used to provide some additional controls in the loops. So this tutorial is going to be on the break statement. So these break statements are used inside the loops and also in the switch statement, you know, which I'm going to teach you in the upcoming tutorials. So here in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the break statement in the loops. All right, let's get started. So when you use this break statement in a loop, you know, whenever the statement is executed, your loop will be terminated immediately. So if it is confusing, don't worry. You know, when we see this in example, it's going to be clear. All right. Now here for the demonstration purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write a program by using a loop, you know, which is going to print out the numbers from one to 10. So first we're going to use the while loop. So let's create a counter variable and let's initialize this variable with a value of one. And then I'm going to use a while. So it's going to be while and we need to use the condition. Let's say counter is less than or equal to 10. And inside this while loop, we're just going to use the print line statement from the system dot out. And it's going to be counter. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to increment the value of this counter variable. All right. Now, if I run this program, we're going to get the numbers from one to 10. So now let's say in your program, you want to terminate this loop when the counter value becomes five. So at that time we can use the break statement. So I'm going to check for the value of the counter variable. So it's going to be if counter is equal to five. If the counter variable contains a value, which is equal to five, then I'm going to use the break statement. So now what happens is, you know, for the first iteration, this counter variable is going to contain a value of one. So it's going to print out one and then it's going to check for the condition, you know, it fails. So this break statement will not be executed. Similarly, it's going to happen till counter variable contains a value five. So at that time, you know, this condition will satisfy and this break statement will be executed. So when this break statement will be executed, you know, this loop will be terminated immediately and the program will continue to execute the other statements. For example, let's say we have a, a print line statement and let's say, you know, anything. So after terminating this loop, you know, the next statements in the program will be executed. So now if I run this program, you guys can see we get one, two, three, four, five, you know, after that, you know, the loop will be terminated and the other statements, you know, after the loop will be executed. All right, guys, the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is about the break statement inside a nested loop. So here, let's say we have this while statement or while loop inside another while loop. So here I'm going to create a counter variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to initialize this variable right here, but we're going to declare that before. And then, you know, we're going to have a counter variable for the outer loop and let me call it as counter outer and let's initialize this one with a value of one. So now let's say we have a outer while loop here. So it's going to be while and it's going to be counter outer and we want to execute this outer while loop. Let's say till the counter outer variable contains a value which is less than or equal to 10 and uh, we're going to, and we're going to close that here. And we're going to increment the counter outer variable. So now we have two loops. I'm just going to try to indent this code. All right. Now you guys can see we have a outer loop, you know, this while loop. And then we have a inner loop, this one. So now what happens is, you know, this break statement is present inside the in the while loop. So when this break statement will be executed, it's going to terminate this current loop. So whenever a break statement used inside a loop, you know, it's going to terminate the 
loop where it is present. So it's not gonna affect the outer loop. So now if I run this program, you guys can see we get one, two, three, four, five. Then again, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Similarly for 10 times. So here, the important thing you should remember is that, you know, when we use the break statement inside a nested loop, you know, it's gonna terminate the inner loop where that break statement is present. All right, the next thing is, you know, we can uh, use this uh, break statement in uh, the other loops such as, you know, the do while loop or, you know, the for loop. So the effect is same. It's gonna terminate the current loop where the break statement is present. So this is it guys, this is about the break statement in, uh, in the loops, you know, which provides some additional control over the execution of the loops. And also, you know, we can use this break statement in the switch statements and I'm going to teach you that in the tutorial on the switch statements. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any doubt, don't hesitate to ask us and I'll see you in the next tutorial.